Hello everybody, I'm Daryl Crow, and with me is my good friend Joe Kaczynski. Hi everybody, how are you? And today we have a special tip for you. I understand we've got a few questions this week, Joe. I'm going to just give you one. We okay. have a few, but I'm going to give you one for now. All right. In the paintings that everybody looks at, how do you make the rocks look so distant? What's the secret to making objects look different, especially rocks? Okay, I guess what you're saying is, is that how can we establish distances with the rocks, whether they're far away, close, and so forth? I, that's exactly what I said, almost. Uh, that's what I thought you said, almost. Yeah, almost. 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 Well, what I do is I go see Mr. Almost. Wow, he must be really incredible because he's... He oh, he's, he, 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 he's absolutely uh, uh, unbelievable. He lives down towards Falls River. Ah, Falls River. Ah, yeah, he goes right. by the name of Jesse Martin. Jesse, my, oh, Jesse, yeah, what a, oh, what an artist. Oh, my. What an artist Jesse is. What he was my an instructor, artist. and one day I'm going to get as good as him. Wow. Well, you know, you're working your way. You're pretty close. Oh, pretty, pretty close. close. Pretty close. Okay. However, there'll never be another Jesse. No, there won't. <laughs> he is a great man. I was very sorry to hear him come down with cancer. I know. In any case, Joe, there's a film we did. You know, we got a lot of films in the club that show this, but one I'm particularly thinking is down Oregon Way. Oh, you mean the Oregon coast? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, over there, what we did is we showed a painting which had three or four rocks that was way in the distance and they came forward. Right. And perhaps that'll answer Melanie's question. You know, I'm sure it will. I'm well, sure it let's will. roll the video, as they say. Let's do that. Okay, now we have three different colors of blue. The trick in distant blues is keeping, uh, is, this is what I would use for up close for a base color on the rock. And then for those that are far distant, I will go ahead and use a lighter blue. The reason I'm doing that is since they're farther back, we're looking through more air, which has water molecules in it. All right, and with all that water molecules, it'll look lighter. So here we go. See, there it is. There we are, and we'll just put it right on the horizon. All righty, see? See, so it naturally becomes the same color as the background. So, to highlight it, I will use the next value up, and that will make it look further away. You would have thought I should use the brightest color, but that's not true. So, see how bright that looks? So we'll just go ahead, I'm just holding the knife with my thumb and forefinger and way in the background. Okay, way in the background. Little short strokes. Here we go, here's another one. So that really looks way out there. All right, so let's bring, oh, we're out of paint. Quick, quick, quick. The first rule of paint is you must have paint in order to paint. I'm really liking these uh, far distant hills. Okay. But remember that, get, raise, uh, lighten the base value, and then one value from it is the highlight. Okay, now I want to bring another one over here just for interest, but I'm only going to put it a little bit closer. So to do that, I'll use the same color. Alrighty, and now we'll start, see I'm just going to put it above the horizon, but see this? I'm bringing it down further in the ocean. Alrighty, and again we'll use the same value next. All righty, here we go.
pull back the backs. All right, so we've got three rocks there, and I want to put one over here. Now this one, I want to be much more up front. So I'll clean this, and now I'll go to the pure Prussian blue as my base. Okay, so I want to have a funny odd shape, okay? There we are. Load that up good. Now we've got green, yellow back there. Blue and yellow, I'm told, make green. I don't know. But I am going to go ahead and darken this up. Just like that. And now what I'll do is use this highlight. See how I'm only one value different for my initial highlights? Okay, so there we are. And because of that, this rock is going to look a lot closer. And that's how I'm able to space differences between uh, their distance between the rocks. It's just by the color. So color is a great thing to use on your side. I'm going to use the full width here so I don't have to spend... See? Whoa. Just go with what you see. Sometimes when you look at the rocks that you've done, you see the shape. It, at first, it's just a black mass. But then as you start to work on it, you say, hey, I see this. Go with it. That's your best bet. All right. Now, I'm going to take the other side with just a little bit. See, a little bit there. And now, I'm just going to pull over. Before I'm going down on the right side, now I'm going down on the left side. So directions of your strokes mean a lot in terms of how you shape. I want to get just a little bit of color. I'm not looking for a lot. All right, so I'm going to take this. There you go. Now, to bring out the sunshine, okay, what I'm going to do is go to the next value. And that will only go on the light side, not the shadow side. So, come right here. Doesn't have to be a lot for the highlight. And we'll bring this right on down. Okay, there we go. Now, let's stand back and see what we got. You know something, Joe? That, that was a that great was... tip. I even learned something. Did you really? What yeah. did you learn, Daryl? I learned that I learned from Jesse. Wow. And I learned well. You certainly did. And uh, so, Jesse, thank you. Melanie, thank you for the question. And folks, if you've got a question, send it on in to Joe and I. We're here to help you learn to be better painter. I'm Daryl Crow. I'm Joe Kaczynski, and Jesse, get well. That's right. And yes, you can paint. Yes, you can. <laughs>